you probably want to make an epic wireframe animation of some type. That's why you clicked on this video. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at a wireframe animation with some cool, like, building features. It kind of just does some cool things. Um, and it's super simple, really easy. You guys always ask me for animation stuff, uh, and this is a really, really pretty cool one. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit uh, delete on default cube. I'm sorry. And I'm also going to go ahead and hit uh, our camera. So that's our camera. Alt G, Alt R to clear the rotation and location. RX 90 on my numpad. Left click to confirm that. G Y on my numpad. G Y on my keyboard, sorry, to move the camera backwards. And zero to go into the camera's view. Now, we got all that set up. Hit Shift A to add a mesh. And this mesh will be Suzanne the monkey. It'll be whatever you want it to be. But I'm going to use, I'm gonna use Suzanne today uh, because she has a lot of uh, faces. Uh, she's two-faced. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do here is we can leave it the way it is or we can hit tab to go into edit mode and add more faces to this, which I'm not going to do, um, but you could do that. So you can just right click, hit subdivide and then have more faces for it to do cool animation stuff with. I'll get to that in a second, but I'm going to undo that. We'll just leave it like this for now. Um, and, uh, and that looks good. So we'll go ahead and go to the modifiers tab here. And add a modifier. This modifier will be the wireframe modifier. You see, we've done wireframe stuff before. We can change around the thickness and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to leave that on default right now, which is uh, 0 0.02. Um, I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate this. Right click to cancel the movement. And then I'm going to delete the wireframe modifier off of the second one. So you can see how we can see uh, now we have that cool thing. So we've done this exact same thing before. But we have not done, what we have not done, is we have not added this modifier of build. Now, build, what, it, what that does is if I hide this one right here, you can see it builds all of the faces uh, on the, what, from whatever mesh that you're using, which is really, really cool. So let me open up this uh, timeline a little bit. You can see if I select this guy, we have the length goes to 100. I want to change the length to 150, and I'll change the end of our, our uh, scene to 150 as well. And I want to change the end, the start frame, sorry, to uh, 25. Yeah, there we go. Looks good. I like it. All right, so um, now uh, on top of doing this, I can hit Alt H to unhide anything we've hidden, which is our wireframe. And I want to animate the wireframe because this is going to look super sweet. So on frame 30, I want it to be this thickness. So I'll hover my cursor over top of the, the word thickness, hit I to animate that, of course, and then go back to the first frame, um, which I will not put to zero today, even though it's a pet peeve of mine, you know. Uh, we will go ahead and turn the thickness to zero and then hit I right there. So now when we uh, scrub this, you can see the wireframe kind of comes out of nowhere, which is cool. It looks like a spider web, like Spider-Man's coming to save the day. Looks super cool. Oh, memories of the 2000s. Awesome. So super cool. All right, sweet. So uh, now what we have is we have this really cool animation where the wireframe will fade in and then it will start to build itself, which is super sweetness. Now, what I was saying earlier is if you want to go ahead and select the actual faces that are building, you can hit tab and then hit subdivide this. But now you see, since we've done it in a way where um, we didn't we didn't have all those subdivisions down first it's gonna kinda look strange because some of the pieces are gonna be missing so if you do this make sure you also you make sure you subdivide it before you make the wireframe because then you won't be able to do it properly but yeah so I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo that just make sure the amount of subdivisions is the same for your wireframe and for the faces that are building themselves so it looks super cool so now what we need to do is I want to give a little bit of like a maybe a matrixy kind of vibe to this I don't know I just kinda thought of a matrix I don't know so we'll select the wireframe here we'll hit new on that and of course, I'm going to go ahead and change this to Emission. And I think I might want to make this thickness a little less thick. So we'll do 0 0.01 instead of 0 0.02. And I think that's better. Yeah, much more wireframey. It was too thick before. Too thick before. All right, there we go. So uh, we'll select that wireframe, go back to the Material tab, uh, make sure that's on Emission. We'll go to Rendered Viewport Shading here. And I'll also delete our light. I meant to do that earlier. So we'll select the light up here. And hit delete on that because we don't need that either. I will change the background color here to solid black. And I will also go to the scene tab here and go to color management and change this from filmic to standard, which is none pretty much. Um, back to the wireframe once again. Turn my overlays off so I can see. Uh, we'll change the color to like a green. Go to render viewport shading. Uh, it's like a, like, a, like a really, really, really disgustingly bright matrix green, <laughs> uh, which looks awesome. 
right? And then we have those faces being built in. So it looks like the uh, the back faces of let me turn denoising off. The back faces of the wireframe are kind of getting covered, which the black it looks super cool. <laughs> So that's really awesome. I like that a lot. So I kind of want to do two things here. So this is this is working out pretty well. So what I want to do is uh, with these faces that are building, I like the black covering that up. So I, I want to keep that. But I also want to do this. So I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate this, right? And then hit S to scale it up. Just actually not, not S. I'm sorry. We're going to go to the modifiers tab and change this from. Uh, I'm sorry. Add a modifier of uh, b -b 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 solidify and then we will change the thickness to go outwards just a little bit so it covers the black up so that looks fine to me eh, maybe a little less than that maybe we'll do point zero zero five point zero zero two just enough to cover the black ones that are that are coming out and doing the cool thing so now we have that I want to make sure the ones we just created the one with the solidify modifier I want to make sure that is not starting at the same time so I want this to start at doo -doo -doo. we're going to change our end frame back to 250 for this to finish so I want, to, I want this to start at maybe 60 maybe 100 yeah Okay, so now I want to change this color so I can see the difference here. So we'll add a new material, um, and we will make this material really metallic. And let me go to rendered so I can see. And now I want to make sure specular is on. I want to make sure roughness is all the way down. And we can go ahead and add in a lamp, a point lamp, shift A to add that in, by the way. Uh, G, Y to move that backwards, so about right there. And maybe I'll go ahead and pull it back a little bit more like that and you know what let's just do Sun let's let's do a Sun let's change it to Sun over there in the lamp uh, settings and then RX yeah sure why not all right so that looks fine I think it's too much there though so we'll do that I'll hit shift D to duplicate that and then I'll put one going upwards I just want to get some cool looking reflections on this so I'll hit shift a add in another point lamp and then GY to move it to the front um, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, so now you won't see any of this. Let me grab. This is the first face, so I don't want this one to have any kind of blackness on it. So that this one, we need to add a material to this. This is the face that builds first. This isn't the shiny one. So I want this one to be solid black. So we we'll add a new material, change the base color to black, and turn specular all the way off, roughness all the way up, even though it doesn't matter. We just turn it down. Doesn't matter. All right. So now we have this when we play it. So let me turn my overlays off and play it. There we go. That comes in, the black covers up the back faces, and then it starts with the reflective ones, which is really cool. All right, um, now there seems to be a problem here. If I grab, if I grab this, where's the? I can't see the lamps because because the yeah, there we go. All right, so uh, we have all these lamps here, but it seems like it's not doing too much back here anymore. So, yeah, we need to, is it even getting back there? All that is, all that is filtered. Okay, good, so sweet. All right, so let me go ahead and metallic, the metallic, let me do, not do the metallic all the way up. The metallic doesn't need to be all the way up. That's a little much. So 0.975 maybe, 0 0.97, 0 0.95, 0 0.95 looks good. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have this kind of really cool looking matrixy green, kind of the black covers it up there. And then the reflective ones come out, which looks really cool. So it looks like something's building, something's, uh, you know, maybe simulating. I don't know. We'll go ahead and select our camera real quick just for a cool effect. We'll hit I to insert a location on the first frame. Uh, and then we'll go to the last frame. Hit G, and double tap Z to pull it out a little bit. And then we will just go ahead and hit, uh, actually, we'll zoom it in a little bit. We'll, we, won't, we won't pull it out. We'll zoom it in. So we'll go G, double tap Z, and then we'll just pull up. And then hit I location now hope you boys and girls enjoyed it pretty simple animation just has a, a, a few steps you know but uh, but yeah that's gonna be it for today's tutorial hope you boys and girls enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one but until then bye bye